Hello, and welcome to One Heart Heroes. Uh, watch Wed get his ass kicked. By damn boo. All right. This is Cody. And this is Wade. I think I already said this is Wade. I know. You said welcome to One Heart Hero. Got you. That's what I <coughs> call that boo. Everyone? Yeah. Recently? Yeah. We bought Pokemon. Right. Yeah. We've, we've been spending time on that. Um, I am not yet good enough to beat people <laughs> on the internet. I mean, you can beat them. Maybe you just got unlucky. That one guy beat my ass. He did beat your ass. But several times. I mean, that was just one guy. I can beat the computer, though. There you go. Anybody who wants to watch me beat the computer, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. We'll totally pretend it's a real person. Hashtag finish the fight. <laughs> I beat a couple people online, but I mean, I also got beaten once, so I may have just gotten lucky. Yeah, you got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. <clears throat> See? Haha! -ha, Mario heads. So, there's everybody's Woo! first taste at Yoshi eating Mario's head. Which I'm sure is like some kind of good vindication for Yoshi because, dude, like... Yellow Shell is one of my, like, favorite non-OP... Um, Yoshi talents. Yeah, because you can cr you can uh, kill the spiky guys. You can kill everything. <laughs> Just like poof, and, and the, then death upon. And the regular Mario Kart style. Those are style. also Mario heads. They just don't skip, they don't track so well. Or maybe they're technically pumpkin. I don't know. They're supposed to be Mario heads as well. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, so like, it just looks really creepy on them. Pokin, um, like. It's a bit of a different kind of fighter. It, how do I, how do I put it? Like it's a com. It almost feels like something in between Tekken and Super Smash Brothers. Because what they did is they tried to make it more accessible. So you only have like three attack buttons. You have a light attack, normal attack, and a special attack button. And like, you know, depending on that, where you're standing still or moving, uh, in what direction you're fa the, you're pressing the D-pad depends on what attack you. So, like, they add an extra button comparative to Smash for attacks. So, it adds a lot more, a little more depth to the combos. But at the same time, they also have uh, these, like, phase shifts. Where you go from, like, running around the ring combat to, you know, normal left and right fighter combat. It's it's interesting, for sure. And at the same time, um, by no means are we saying that, like, um, that... That what this is lesser than... That Smash is not an advanced, like, fighter. Like, we're, <laughs> we're not saying that, like, you can't do some advanced, amazing kung fu shit in Smash. By no means. You can, but, like, the but combos are... There's not, like, long, complex combos in Smash. Like, you can chain stuff, but there's not, like, you know, up, down, left, right, B, A, B, A, C, C, D, A, B. Right, and there's... It's just lots of, it's lots of juggling moves and everything. And there's, there's, there's difference. And there's side guarding and stuff like that. It's a whole other animal. But, like, generally speaking, Smash is a lot more accessible to inexperienced players. Yeah. Personally, I think, because... <laughs> you can tell Wade's paranoid we're going to, like, really offend some Smash players. Well, like, I really... I really enjoy Smash myself. I'm not saying it's a bad game. Yeah, yeah. I just throwing that out there. I just want to make sure everyone knows. Like by no means. Like you can do some pretty amazing shit in Smash too. Oh yeah, you can. It's just like either there's a lot less uh like I don't know, button comboing and more like timing wise technicalities or something yeah probably if you know if you get what i'm saying because i said like it deals with lots of juggling and like you know guarding easy to, properly it's easy to play but it's hard to master one of those type of things pretty much yeah um but the reason i bring up pokin at all is like pokin has actually so it didn't do well in japan like at all apparently i went ahead and read some of those articles that cody was talking about um or he told me about and like in Japan, they just it did not receive well. I don't know why. Um, most of it was for. Well, they put it out as an arcade game, and like I'm just saying, if the if like you got to pick easy, normal, or like if they just start you out on easy mode, that shit's boring. Okay, we're back. Um, anyways, so like I can see why they might have gotten bored with it because like if it's anything like the like the first league, like those Pokemon are just sitting there taking shots to the chin, man. 
The, you know, like they barely, like you're lucky if they attack more than once. Yeah, Cody counted and it was a pretty sad showing. Right, let's see here. Like the boss of the league attacked six times. My God. He yep. did like six attack moves. That was like unbelievable compared to everyone else who did on an average of one while Wade was wailing on them. Yep. So if that was the difficulty they did for like easy, then um, I can definitely see why people would get really annoyed with it. Like anywhere people I think would get annoyed with it. But yeah, like it did not do well in Japan. But somehow here in the United States, it has made its spot on Evo. Yeah, well that's because that's like I think it's only on the... Like mostly only a console game in the US, but Yeah, but like that brings up the question. I saw a lot of people debating it on Reddit. Like Should it be an Evo? Right. Does it deserve a spot on Evo because it's not so widely liked? Like, I mean Street Fighter and Um Smash. Street Fighter Smash. Let's see. All right, Tekken. Let me think here. Like Street Fighter is extremely like it's got some technical combos and everything. You know, you got the uh, like the four attack buttons, you know, the basic more like more like a basic uh, side fighter with, you know, strong punch, light punch, strong kick, light kick and all that. Smash, you've got like the two buttons, but you got the like you got the deep strategy with the side guards and all the like extreme timing kind of juggling and combos you can do with that. Pokin, I haven't played it well enough to, ma to make any like really good judgments about it, but uh... I mean, I think maybe you could do a lot of timing stuff and everything, but I haven't really, haven't seen any super advanced players yet. Well, even like, it seems like a lot of the combos, you can't really do any like long stringed epic things because it, it breaks you. Yeah, they phase. literally have the the wall break specifically to keep you from doing that. Yeah, but like there may, there may be juggling techniques to get around that or something that people will discover. But you see, that's the thing though. It, it's not the fact that like it has good mechanics or doesn't have good mechanics. Like the fact that it's not so widely loved, like it's not internationally loved. So it seems kind of dickish. Oh, is that, like, is that why? Like, is that what decides an Evo game? Well, I think so. I think it has at least a big part of it. I figure like it being a good fighter would decide if it's an Evo game. Well, yeah, but like, wouldn't that be decided by like how many people? Get? How many how, people like it? Yeah. I mean, maybe like, a lot of people a like lot of Goat people... Simulator too, but that doesn't mean it was like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know. Yeah, that was a bad game. <laughs> and all the people on Goat played so good, and we're like, "Fuck you!" That thing was legend. Wait for it, Dairy. No. <laughs> no. It it was. It was a goat. <laughs> with a weird tongue. <laughs> That's, that's what Wade, you never played it though, did you, Wade? No. I don't play bad games. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Shots fired, man. Right? <laughs> ne shots fired, neckbeard's down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, I, I'm I'm not a fan of Goat Simulator. It, it was pretty bad. Oh, cat, don't walk over the soundboard again. <laughs> Come on now. Just to make you nervous. Right? He's got to take the most complicated path to where he wants to go. Anyways, um, honestly, if Japan didn't like it and didn't approve, then honestly, it probably shouldn't be on Evo. Right, because Evo is, like, I'm not crazy. Evo's worldwide, right? I'm pretty sure, like, they, I, think yeah. that's, I think they end up in world tournaments. I could be crazy. Okay. But, uh, like, <clears throat> yeah. How cool would it be to go to Evo? It'd be awesome. Like, like I'm nowhere near good enough to go to Evo with anything, though. No. How good would it be to participate in Evo? <laughs> <laughs> That would be amazing Jeez, too. That'd be that would want one. Yeah, also be freaking amazing. There is so many turtles in this. My God Almighty. Yeah, that's why you need Yoshi. I can tell. Boop. What are those normally? Uh, PD piranhas. Piranhas, gotcha. Yeah. After a while, you just forget. Oh, key sure. too. So that was a key too. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a weird thing about this game is like they introduced the pipe the key too. What does he do? He just like throws little spikies out. From the pipe? From the pipe. Yeah, well, he sure as hell didn't get a chance that time. No. Or if he's just shy. <laughs> Is that why? He wants to give us love, but can't because he's too shy. Better he for, like, forgot to put his underwear Death. on or something. And he's just kind of like, ah, crap, I got to work, but I don't have any pants. <laughs> you have to do the laundry. You would figure he would just like 
kind of like peek out then like or not peek out but like just kind of hang out above it like half shell uh -huh, hang out Boop. not funny penis joke <laughs> ah, i got you to laugh so funny enough funny enough i don't know of any other youtubers out there who experience this problem please feel free to comment if you do yeah we can't turn on the air conditioner because it ruins the mic quality those are yoshi dolphins absolutely oh oh oh, oh. fun fact if what? this was the, if this was the japan edition i could eat those dolphins I'm sorry, that just, because I was sitting there, I was thinking about like the whole, I wonder if there's going to be like some statement about how like Japan's eating too many dolphins out of the sea and all that jazz. <laughs> just like, kind of correlated really well, huh? Yeah, yeah, it did. That's, that's kind of funny. Yep. Like in the United States, they were like, oh no, this is too cute to eat. And they would not allow them to like do it for some reason. That puffer fish is freaking Screw him. He wants you. I you think can't that's... beat this level without a Yoshi, can you? Yeah. Oh, you can do it on the backs of the, the, yeah, the, dolphin. of the dolphins. Gotcha. But if you eat them. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. <laughs> that's. Honestly, I kind of like that mechanic. Like if you're a dick, then. Right. Yeah. <laughs> then, then like you pay for it. Right. It's always good whenever games do that. I, I really don't know why they take they took it out of the American edition. But yeah, no, they used to be you used to be able to eat them. I think in Kaizo Mario you could eat them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that is something right. real quick, sorry to interrupt. That's something that I wanted to do for you guys, but I'm too dumb and I couldn't figure out how to make it work. Oh yeah, how to make Kaizo Mario mm -hmm. like connect and work for some reason. Yeah. We'll figure it out eventually. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, all right, we were talking about fighters a lot mm -hmm. and poking and all that, mm -hmm. but I just I just want to hit the topic right quick. Uh, what makes a good fighter? Like, what mm -hmm. makes a fighter a good fighter? I think people have to be able to enjoy it. Like, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. What makes people enjoy it? Uh... <sighs> that's something that all game developers are trying to figure out. Like, a it's lot gotta of- It's gotta feel good. Yeah. Like, it has to be smooth. Like, there's nothing worse than having a clunky character. Or, like, you have your technical characters. But, like, let's be honest. Technical characters suck until you learn how they work. And then whenever you start doing combos with those really stiff technical characters, you're like, oh, God, give me more. Right. Because you took the stiffest person in the entire game and just turn them into butter at your fingers. Turn them into a machine of death. Yeah, that's that's what I think makes like fighting games like feel good. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this last time we play we played. Woo. Um Rinzor. Yeah. Is um a band. In, is the, it? in the United States. Yeah. Most of the bosses in Super Mario World were named after um music bands. Really? Yeah, except for Bowser. What? Like... Sorry, I'm gonna take a drink, guys. What's what's Japan's obsession with music-based character? Maybe that's just Nintendo. No, that's Japan in general. Like, a lot, you'll see it a lot. Um, like, like, in Mega Man, you have Rock and Roll. Right. Like, the you know, Mega Man characters, Rock is Rock Man. Or and that's Capcom. Mega Man. Not Nintendo. True. Yeah, let me correct myself. Excuse me, and Roll is like his sister mm -hmm. bot thing. Um, That's a cool question, though. Why did we change his name to Mega Man? Why did we change it from Rock Man? I don't know. Like, there's no reason for us to change that. Because they thought Americans would receive Mega Man better or something. Like, that's cooler. We did. <laughs> I mean, they're not, they're not wrong. I mean, maybe we would have received it well if it was Rock Man, though. You don't know. Later, Yoshi. <laughs> So, like, going back through and doing these levels after you've gotten, like, all of these yeah. makes this game so much easier. I don't doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> the exclamation marks. That's where all the exclamation marks went, people. Yeah. That's where they all went. That's why me doing that was so important. This this level is so much harder without a cape. I don't want everyone to think that I have to have a cape to win. I don't. It just makes it a lot easier and probably more enjoyable for you guys to watch. So you don't have to watch them die a lot. Right. <laughs> hint, hint. <sighs> but uh yeah like I, I guess i can't think of any other instances so maybe it's not rabid or rampant my bad not rabid. well they'll like pick a lot of like 
have you ever heard of Ranzor before? Nope. Like, they pick a lot of very <clears throat> esoteric, I guess, would probably be the right word. I would say this was a like great advertisement for that band, except Google didn't exist during that point in time. <laughs> So everyone was like, Ranzor, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a Pokemon. I mean, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's a Mario enemy. Oh, that was a the moment end. of silence. That was the end. Yep. That was the end. And this is the end of the episode. Woo! <laughs> uh, I'm going back to the Cape then. Everyone gets to leave on your failure, Wade. That, that makes me sad. All right. So everyone subscribe. Fire. <laughs> See? <laughs> that's that's gonna be a joke in Stardew Valley now. Check that out. Check that out. That should be out right about now. Yeah, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, shoot, what was I say? Anyways, um, <laughs> this, uh, thank you for subscribing uh, by hitting the part in the bottom right or the big part on the end slate. Tweet at us, One Heart Heroes. The spelling is on the end slate. And comment. Tell us what you like. Tell us you want what you want us to do. <laughs> Tell us what you want us to play or finish playing. We've started a lot of games and not finished a lot of games. We only finished one and we came back to play it again. Right? It was just that good. <laughs> All right, everyone. What? Later, guys. Feel the beat. Dragonborn Paladin. Yeah. And I had to seduce a female dwarf guard and like... I had to like continue having sex with the guard to distract her while